Welcome to the BioWhisperer channel. Our topic today is on a perspective overview of the hydrogen rainbow. So let's discuss in this short video an introductory perspective to the different color-coded hydrogen technologies available. Our world is powered by fossil fuels mainly with renewable and nuclear sources as the alternative. The situation with hydrogen as the more sustainable energy source is gaining awareness. In fact, from the United States, almost 95% of the hydrogen produced is derived from natural gas. Looking forward, the industrial demand for energy will only increase. Is it time to seriously relook at hydrogen technologies and adopt new strategies at powering our world? Hydrogen itself is a colorless gas, but there are around nine color codes to identify hydrogen. These hydrogen technologies make up the so-called rainbow of hydrogen colors and the different types of technology, feedstock and means used to produce the respective hydrogen. Hydrogen is the fuel of stars, being the most abundant element in the universe, it packs tremendous energy. However, hydrogen is not a source of energy rather it is a carrier of energy. Often we may hear the terms gray, blue, green being associated when describing hydrogen technologies. The different colors are associated with the way hydrogen is produced. Hydrogen emits only water when burned but creating it can be carbon intensive. However, green hydrogen is the only type produced in a climate neutral manner making it critical to reach net zero by the year 2050. Green hydrogen is produced through water electrolysis process by employing renewable electricity. The reason it is called green is that there is no carbon dioxide gas emission during the production process. Water electrolysis is a process which uses electricity to decompose water into hydrogen gas and oxygen. Green hydrogen could be a critical enabler of the global transition to sustainable energy and net zero emissions economies. There is unprecedented momentum around the world to fulfill hydrogen's long-standing potential as a clean energy solution. Hydrogen is emerging as one of the leading options for storing energy from renewables with hydrogen-based fuels potentially transporting energy from renewables over long distances, from regions with abundant energy resources, to energy-hungry areas thousands of kilometers away. Green hydrogen featured in a number of emissions reduction pledges at the UN Climate Conference, COP26, as a means to decarbonize heavy industry, long-haul freight, shipping, and aviation. Governments and industry have both acknowledged hydrogen as an important pillar of a net-zero economy. Blue hydrogen is sourced from fossil fuel. Blue hydrogen is produced mainly from natural gas, using a process called steam reforming, which brings together natural gas and heated water in the form of steam. The output is hydrogen, but also carbon dioxide as a byproduct. However, the carbon dioxide is captured and stored underground carbon sequestration. Companies are also trying to utilize the captured carbon called carbon capture, storage and utilization termed as CCSU. Utilization is not essential to qualify for blue hydrogen. As no carbon dioxide is emitted, so the blue hydrogen production process is categorized as carbon neutral. Blue hydrogen is sometimes described as low-carbon hydrogen as the steam reforming process doesn't actually avoid the creation of greenhouse gases. Currently, this is the most common form of hydrogen production. Gray hydrogen is created from natural gas, or methane, using steam methane reformation but without capturing the greenhouse gases made in the process. I would thank you for helping to share your love for this science channel by clicking the like button and subscribe for future updates. With that out of the way, let's continue the discussion. Let's have a quick review on what we have covered. Gray hydrogen and blue hydrogen uses fossil fuels as feedstock, the difference between them is blue is more environmentally friendly as the carbon is captured and stored with no greenhouse gas emission. Green hydrogen on the other hand uses electrolysis of water powered by sustainable and renewable energy sources and is seen as the ultimate goal since it is net zero. 
Brown or sometimes called black hydrogen refers to any hydrogen made from fossil fuels through the process of gasification in the newswires report it is projected that this brown hydrogen market is expected to grow to nearly $50 billion by the year 2030. Between green and blue comes the turquoise hydrogen which sits in between. Methane pyrolysis is carried out using methane as a feedstock but the process is driven by heat produced with electricity rather than through the combustion of fossil fuels. As the electricity driving the pyrolysis is renewable, the process is zero carbon, or even carbon negative if the feedstock is biomethane rather than fossil methane natural gas. Valued as a low-emission hydrogen, it is also dependent on the thermal process being powered with renewable energy and the carbon being permanently stored or used. Pink hydrogen is generated through electrolysis powered by nuclear energy. Nuclear-produced hydrogen can also be referred to as purple hydrogen or red hydrogen. Given that off-peak reactor capacity can be utilized for nuclear production of hydrogen, it helps to reduce the negative stigma associated with radioactivity of nuclear power. White hydrogen is a naturally occurring geological hydrogen found in underground deposits and created through fracking. There are no strategies to exploit this hydrogen at present. As a quick overview of the hydrogen technologies currently available, we sort them into the common fuel or feedstock used as well as the products released. Those with carbon dioxide emission are less environment friendly than other hydrogen colors but they are still greener than direct fossil fuel combustion nonetheless. The last three on the list using nuclear, solar or renewable energy sources to power electrolysis is the greener and more sustainable approaches. Costs and implementation is expected to reduce further in future as refinements in the technology improves. As a bonus, there is a new color assigned to electrolyzers powered by renewable solar energy and it's coated as yellow just like our sun, the star that powers our solar system. Countries that receive plenty of sun illumination for instance at the equator is well poised to tap on this energy source. Of course aside from cloudy days. In the future, some hydrogen colors may fade in importance and others burn brighter. What's certain is that the hydrogen rainbow will play a significant role in reaching net zero as we reduce our historical reliance on fossil fuels and look to green alternatives to power our homes, businesses, and transport. If we look at the hydrogen rainbow through the filter of sustainability, green is the only color that shines through at the moment. Nonetheless, at least in the next decade, we can expect solar and nuclear electrolyzers to serve as the simple solutions to a complex problem. I would thank you for helping to share your love for this science channel by clicking the like button and subscribe for future updates.